Oh, wow. It's beautiful. Oh, wow. Hey, how's it going? I'm here today with a lot of wonderful people. There's Toby, who you might recognize, and there's Liam over there, who's just closing the door, who you should also recognize. And I want to talk to you about some interesting physics that we use in day-to-day -day life. Is it even physics or is it engineering? Doesn't matter, approximately the same. Transformers. This is a uh, charger for a, a laptop. And basically what this box does is that it takes the 240 volt uh, of electricity that comes from the mains and transforms it down to something like 12 volts, something that's not gonna fry your computer. You have these boxes basically anywhere there's a laptop or a phone. And sometimes you might notice that when you touch them they actually get hot because they're not 100% efficient. So I'm just gonna go let Liam and Toby quickly explain what a transformer is okay. and what a transformer does and how it does that. My understanding of this transformer is you've got like a wire with current through it and this is going to be coiled, so let's put some coils in here. Alright, so we've got current flowing around there and current through here is going to like set up, I guess, a magnetic field. I don't know how to draw this around here. But next to it we have another coil with less turns and this magnetic field, I guess here, is going to induce a current in this second coil. Um, and as we have less turns in the second one, the voltage is going to step down and conservation of energy, the current is going to step up or increase. Exactly, yeah, yeah. And uh, it uh, should be pretty spectacular given this. So this one's got, we're not sure how many, but I'd say between 600 to 1,000, maybe more turns in it. And it's going down to one single yeah, turn. so that's in the experiment we're going to try out. But this is, I guess, in every transformer. So mm -hmm. what you were saying about like the laptop charger, mm -hmm. right? You're stepping down the voltage because you. Mm. Yeah, so you're stepping down the voltage, and basically the voltage in the circuit one divided by the number of coils in that first one is equal to voltage in circuit two divided by the number of coils. So yeah, let's uh, blow things up as usual. Yeah. So this is the experiment. Um, this is actually quite similar to the uh, laptop charge that we had over there. Um, you can see at the back, we have our, what we call our primary coil, or coil number one, as Peter was saying over there. And this single wire here, piece of steel, is going to be our secondary coil, or coil number two. And in stepping down the voltage massively, because it's a very large, what we call the step-down transformer, uh, we're going to increase the current massively. And that's going to result in a lot of heat and something like that. Alrighty, uh, let's see if this works. So, in three, two, one. Oh, God. Oh, that's so cool. That shouldn't happen, but that's okay. <laughs> God, that makes me so happy every time. That was pretty um, fast as well. The melting point of steel is 1,370 degrees Celsius. So I could buy that. it went from 25 degrees Celsius to over 1,000 in what? Five seconds? Give or take, yeah. Pretty, pretty terrifying, pretty There's impressive. There's an opportunity for a classic joke to be made here. There's an opportunity for a classic joke to be made here. Shall we do it all together? <laughs> so it turns out that transformers, transformers do melt steel, steel beams. beams. I hate myself for oh, saying yeah, me that, too. but... Me too. It was worth it. It was yeah. worth it. I'm sure the internet will appreciate it. Yeah. Disable comments on this video. Yeah. Demonetize. 